Hi everyone, it's me Sophia and welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. I just wanted to pop in real quick today to share with you guys the new Rome update which has the new feature of the graph overview new view. I really like this feature and it got me really excited so I decided to make a video about it. So let's start. So now that I'm in my graph, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check if I have the update installed. So I'm going to go on these three dots and I'm going to click on check for updates. So my roam is up to date. If your roam is not up to date, um, there's going to be another window and you can update it. So now let's go in the graph overview. So. As you guys can see, this really changed uh, from the previous graph overviews that we had. This time it's like a big mixed up 3D spider web and I think it looks really cool. So what are all of these dots? These dots are all of your pages and the gray lines between them, the gray lines that are connecting them, are the links, the, the references. They're the connections between all of your pages. But if you can see here, I have some pages that don't have any lines in between them. These are called the orphans. That means that they're not linked to any other page. So if you don't want to see these, you can just hide them. And now I have all of the pages that have at least one connection. Another thing that I thought was really interesting that if I hide my daily notes, I barely have any pages compared to how many I have with the daily notes. And that's because I use the daily notes a lot. And it's the majority of the pages in my graph. All right, so if I wanna reset this, I can just go uh, to this little arrow to restore default settings. So the setting that we haven't looked at yet is the whole graph versus explore control. So right now, I can see all of the pages in my graph and their connections. But if I go into the Explore option, I can choose which pages I want to look at. So it's like zooming in on one page or more pages and then exploring its connections. You can also think about it like a page overview. Let me give you guys an example. I chose for today the main character from The Idiot, which is the prince. So I'm going to set these to zero and I'm going to write the prince. This is my page. I'll start by explaining the degrees out slider, which will show when the slider is at one, all of the pages that I referenced in this page, in the page, the prince. And to make this easier for this example, in this page, in the Prince page, I only linked the characters that are directly connected to him as main characters. But any hashtags that you guys put in this page, any tags, any uh, pages, any references that you put in it, you guys will see it appear. But for this example, I uh, was was uh, very careful with what references I put to make sure that you guys understand properly. So when I move the slider to one, we can see all the main characters that I linked in the prince So page. I linked Aglaya and Nastasia as the two main female characters in the story. And then we have Ragojin, who is the frenemy of the prince. And then we have Ganya, that's a little bit of an NPC, who's also scared of being an NPC. So I put him here because I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Now let's look at this page. So the prince, you see? So the page references that you see here are the same ones from the graph overview. So now let's move the slider to two. So what happened when I did this? you can see that more connections have appeared. So this was level one. And now we have some new branches right here. That's because the level two shows me the pages that are referenced 
in the pages that are referenced in the prints. So, these connections right here, these ones, they're not directly in the page of the prints. They're in the pages that are in the prints' page. For example, let's look at Nastasia. As you can see here, there's a new link, Totsuki. So that means that we reference Totsuki in Nastasia's page. Let's, let's look. See? There he is. Now let's go back. Now let's try to increase the slider for the degrees out. So the prince referenced Ganya and Ganya referenced these four. So let's increase the slider and see what these four might have brought in. You see, and there are two new, two new links. So these two pages, they're indirectly connected to this page, the main page that we're looking at, which is the prince. The prince page is only connected to Ganya, Nastasia, Aglaya, and Ragojin. And then these four branch out. And as you move the slider up, everything gets connected. And so now let's talk about the degrees in slider. This one is similar to the degrees out one, except that instead of showing what the prints page referenced and then branching out from there, it tells you what the prints page was referenced in. So if I set it to one, I can see that in innocence, I referenced the prints. In society, I referenced the prints. Versus with the degrees out one, I could see what I referenced in the prints, not what the prints was referenced in. So it's different. I referenced the prints in love, I referenced the prints in morality, I referenced the prints in innocence, etc. All of these. So now I want to grow it to two and it will show me in what pages were referenced the pages that referenced the prints. So where else did society appear? So at the second level, it's not all about the prints anymore. Now it's about this second level right here. It's about where did I see greed before? In poverty, I referenced greed in poverty. Where did I see love before? I referenced love in loyalty. Same for innocence and morality. These join at purity. They were both referenced in purity in the page. But purity is not directly referenced to the prints. So there's a huge advantage with this explore graph overview feature because I can explore. I can visualize and see all of the connections. If I switch this, it will show me a more simple path. To sum up, when you explore a page or a reference with the new graph oh. overview, you can visualize on one hand what the chosen page or pages referenced as well as what they are referenced in using the degrees out to look at what it referenced and the degrees in to look at what it is referenced in. And using the slider, you can choose your level of granularity, how many connections you want to see, and you can play with both sliders at the same time. I just started exploring with this, but I can already say that it's so brilliant and so, so useful. I think it really captures the essence of Rome, and it's so special to have this visual representation of your knowledge base right at your fingertips. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll try to answer them. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Dun, 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 dun. This is all mine. It's me. I made this.